What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and I just finished up watching Shakur Stevenson versus Jeremiah Nakatia, and this fight was a 12-rounder for the interim WBO Super Featherweight World Championship, and this fight was Saturday, June 12th, from the Virgin Hotels in Las Vegas, Nevada, and this fight was broadcasted on ESPN, ESPN Plus, or on the ESPN app. And in this fight, Shakur Stevenson was able to shut out Jeremiah Nakatia, winning 120-107 on all three judges' scorecards. I agree, I also scored at 120-107. And I just have to say this first and clear, uh, it was a very, very boring and uneventful fight. It was just Shakur Stevenson landing shot uh, by shot, just single shots on the outside. Not much was happening besides that. He was able to drop um, Jeremiah Nakatia in the fourth round, though, with a check right hook, but that was it. I mean, the whole fight was just Celestino Ruiz putting on a terrible performance for a referee, whilst he was yelling at both fighters for stepping on each other's feet, even though it was a Southpaw versus Orthodox fight, which happens every single time when a Southpaw and Orthodox fights. So the referee wasn't too great, the fight wasn't too great, Shakur Stevenson's style got me aggravated. I know that you're a fighter, you don't want to get injured or anything, but come on, this is the entertainment business, and he was just doing that the whole time. He was able to get hit in the sixth round. He didn't take it well, but Nakatia was just trying to come forward and land shots. He was just getting countered all night. Uh, and as I said, and as I said before, it wasn't like he was getting countered with combinations. It was just like single shot after shot, which made it even worse. Because I think Shakur Stevenson could have stopped Nakatia. He was just landing shot after shot and wobbling Nakatia. And if he could have jumped on him, he possibly could have got him out of there um, in the first half of the fight. But every round was the same. Um, comment down below what are your thoughts on this fight, on Shakur Stevenson's performance here and how he fought. Because uh, in my opinion, it was very, very boring. I know that he did put his great defense on display, and I really pr give him props for that because he does have some great defense. But normally, he throws combinations, and if he gets his opponent hurt, he comes forward. But here, maybe he was just scared of Nakatia's power because Nakatia does have 17 knockouts and 21 wins. But I don't know. He normally throws combinations. And if he fights like this against other guys... Um, in the super featherweight division, I mean, they could beat him, because this is like just, I just don't like the style of fighting, he just landed single punches and just ran around the ring, and the one time that Nakatia did land a beautiful straight right, I must say, in that sixth round, uh, Stevenson just ran around the ring, like, he was legitimately running with his hands down and pushing Nakatia off him, so that might have hurt him, I'm not really too sure, I don't really think so, but still, I have no clue why he was just running around the ring like that. Uh, so what is next for Shakur Stevenson? I think he's going to fight Jamel Herring. I mean, Jamel Herring was in that arena for a reason. Um, and I think, it, I mean, that fight's just obviously going to happen. They're both in top ranks. Shakur Stevenson just won the interim WBO title. Uh, Jamel Herring is the WBO champion. And I'm not really too sure who wins that fight, because Jamel Herring's really, really tall and sort of has that counter-punching boxing on the outside style. But uh, what is next here for the loser, uh, Jeremiah Nakatia? He did get shut out here, but I mean he didn't do as bad as I thought. I thought it would be much more dominant in favor of Shakur Stevenson, even though it was pure dominance and Shakur Stevenson won every single round. And Jeremiah Nakatia didn't do anything. I expected him to sort of come forward more and land combinations in Nakatia as opposed to just landing shot after shot. But um, I think Nakatia is going to go back to... Namibia, I believe that's where he's from, and just fight some more low-level opponents and possibly get another shot at a um, high-level opponent in the United States or in the Europe, something like that. But um, otherwise, I think he's just going to fight lower-tier op opposition in Africa. So overall, Shakur Stevenson wins in a very, very boring fight, shutting out Jeremiah Nakatia, as I predicted, to get a 16th victory and to win the interim WBO Super Featherweight World title. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.